Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Can I ask hi, you for hi, 10 Arlinda. more minutes to finish my to finish my dinner, please? <laughs> okay, bon appetit. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Brenda, uh, tell me you have you they fixed the internet problem that you had. Yes, teacher, I, I could do it. How? But I want to turn on the camera now because uh, I'm busy with something, but soon I'll do it. Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, will you be able to stay for the last 10 minutes tonight? Um, yeah. Yep, okay, perfect. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Well, I'm so I'm so tired, but but I'm here. <laughs> tired, but I'm sleepy. With a good. Attitude. But I'm here. The good yeah, thing yeah. is that you you are <laughs> sleepy, but not sleeping. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a good. <laughs> hey, Freddy's Laura, and Jackie. How are you feeling? Hello, tonight? good evening, Hi, good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. So, how are you feeling tonight? Pretty good. Pretty good. Do you have a good day at work? Yeah. Nice. I'm glad to know that. Okay. Uh, hey, I love the the animals you have, Freddie. Especially uh, the 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 baby the baby Pellyway that you said that you showed. Yeah. Oh, he's he's really cute. I had never seen a baby one. Really? Uh huh. Okay. In, in San Vicente, they have cows, horses. In San Vicente? Yeah. So you have a, you, your family or you have another house over there? I have my family. Your family. Nice. They live in um, Santa Clara. Mm. Okay, I think I've heard about Santa Clara. Maritza. Ah, okay, okay. Pastebeque, have you ever been there? No, I've been close, but not specifically there. I wanna go visit the place that you said, uh, Berlin. Uh-huh. Yeah, Berlin is, is beautiful. Uh, there are no a lot of places, but there are at least three or four that are really good. Yeah. Now the most famous is the uh, Mirador Mirador Alto de Gay. Where is located? It's, it's in Berlin. It's in Berlin, but you need a uh, special transportation in Berlin. To, to get there, uh, like a. Uh, Four by two, I see, or, I see the page. or uh, mm -hmm. there are like two, the two hands. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. I seen a picture with the hands. Yeah, so that's a new attraction there. Ah, okay. It's a dangerous place. Is there's a lot of crime there or not? No, 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 it's not dangerous. Actually, uh, okay. Uh, I would say that is one of the safest places probably in um, in Sultan because Berlin belongs to Sultan. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So it's it's way it's farther than San Vicente, I think. Yeah, it's farther. Coming from San Salvador, yes, it's farther. From San Miguel, it's just one hour. One hour, yeah, approximately one hour and a half. Yeah. Well, one hour fifteen. From San Vicente. From San Vicente. I think it would be something like an hour and a half, probably. Not quite sure if it, if it could be more than one hour and a half. No, but I think that, that it, but in, in car, it's faster. Yeah. You just check in the map, actually, when you, you can, uh, I mean, set up San Vicente to Berlin. And it will tell you the time that it will take you together. Usually it's, it's, it's close to the real time. And the good thing is that there's not a lot of traffic in that, in that uh, route, usually. But I'm not sure if they already finished uh, because they were repairing the streets. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so welcome everybody. Miguel, uh, Floor. Now I don't Hello, see Floor. Hello, good evening. Bye, para allá. Yanari. Hey, Beatriz. It's good to see good you. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How is your daughter? Thank you, teacher. She she feel she feel better than yesterday. Okay, that's good news. Thank God. Thank you. Okay. Now you're welcome. Francisco, welcome. Uh, welcome, Juan Jose. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so we're ready to start. I am going to... Wait a second. Okay, perfect. So I am going to uh, start checking who's here and who's not. Mariela, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Okay, ready with your with your personal library. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, perfect. So right now we are 14. 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 14. So uh, hopefully the rest of your classmates are going to join us soon. Uh, is it raining in the place where you live right now? Because yesterday that was- Yes, teacher, it's raining here. Oh, okay. So hopefully we're not going to have that inconvenience again. Not today, at least. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, I think Blanca was the one saying that she felt I a love little, that. yeah, she felt that a little bit tired. She said, uh, "Do you feel a little tired right now?" It's it's Thursday, no? Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> I forget the day. It's Thursday, <laughs> yes, we're finishing the week. It does. It does. The that's a symptom. If that's the reason, maybe. Yeah. I feel a little Teacher. tired too. Uh, uh -huh. Janari? How can I say, perdí la noción de tiempo? I lost track of time. I lost track of time. Okay. Yeah. Track. Uh, okay, thank you. It's true, this week has been fast, I think. Um, it, if he went by really fast. Okay, so let's uh, check who's here right now and who's not. So first person is uh, Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, it's good to have you back. Uh, Elizabeth is not here. Mariela. I'm here. Brenda, then uh, we have Diana. Present, present. Floor. I'm here. Okay, nice. 
Uh, Francisco. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. Harvin. Harvin is not here yet. Jennifer. Juan Jose. Present teacher. I hear Hey, welcome. Okay, Karen. Hello. Not here yet. Maritza. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Maritza. Miguel Angel. Here. Okay. I'm here, uh, teacher. Thank you, Rolando. Ruth. Uh, Janari. And Suleiman. I'm here, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Jackie. Teacher. Hello. I'm here. Yes, Jackie, I got Jackie, you. Jackie, I'm here. Okay, Blanca. You don't say my name too. <clears throat> I'm here. I said your name. I said yeah. it right now. Okay. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Freddy's. Okay, thank you. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Hi, right. thank you so much, guys. It's a pleasure. It's really nice to see you again. And I'm happy that we're finishing another week uh, that has been tiring, probably a little bit stressing at moments, right? Because that's an everyday week, ups and downs. But the most important is that we keep a positive uh, attitude, that we continue motivated to learn because we know, okay, the reason why you're here, okay? So uh, I want to teach you as much as, I can, as, as much as I can, and I know that you want to learn as much as possible. So that's the perfect combination, right? <laughs> now let's get started. Uh, I was asking you if you feel a little bit tired right now, okay? Because I was curious, what do you normally do when you feel tired? What do you do to get relaxed, to feel better, to rest. What do you normally do? To cheer yourself up, for example, cheer yourself up. That is like uh, animarse a usted mismo, right? So what do you do? Uh, think about it and then I'm going to ask you one by one so that you can share with us through the chat or through the microphone. Okay, or through the microphone, what, what you do in order to relax, right? To, to release a little bit of stress, right? So I will start, okay? Something that I normally do to, let's say to get relaxed when I'm tired is I start listening to relaxing music and I try to, avoid uh, watching the computer or being on the cell phone. So I just listen to relaxing music that I like, maybe in English, maybe a little bit of, um, what do you call this? Uh, like harmonic music, like kind of classical, but it's more for the environment, for the mood. Um, and I close my eyes, okay, I do that. Uh, just for 30 minutes probably, or maximum one hour if I have time. Um, and then I feel better, okay? I turn off the lights and I disconnect from the world. <laughs> so what is something that you do, one thing that you do to relax when you're tired, when you're stressed? Freddy's, let's start with you. Okay, in my case, to relax, I hear music, especially rap music. Rap? It makes me feel more comfortable, more relaxing. Okay. Yeah. Rap music, interesting. Um, <laughs> Arvin? You're like, oh, 
<laughs> I'm like, it's like if you tell me I listen to heavy metal, and I'm like, okay, if that relaxes, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I get it. I get it. It it depends. It depends, right? So yeah. Harbin, then Blanca, and then Miguel. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I mm -hmm. I always do is I try to be alone. And I like to listen all kinds of music. And the music in general, relaxing is, is the way that I, I feel so good. And, and another thing that I do is avoid the, the person. I don't try to, to speak with another person because I can say something that I is bad and mm -hmm. I don't like it. Okay. So you you try to stay away from people. Got it. Thank you, Harvin. Blanca. Well, I'm um, I'm so weird about that because when I'm tired, uh, I'm always uh, around of my family and they always be noisy like me. And I like the noisy, the noisy in my house, and that's relaxing. I don't know. Some people ah. doesn't like to make noise when they tire, but in my case, I like. <laughs> okay. I like and, and then I fell asleep and because because I heard everything in my house and and it's relaxing for me. <laughs> okay, okay, got it. Interesting. Uh, thank you, Blanca. Uh, Miguel. Uh, in my in my case, teacher. Uh, I try to sleep a little time when I I, I am tired, and, mm. or uh, I try to uh, see videos on YouTube or in different uh, uh, device, uh -huh. or um, I hear uh, um, electronic music. This is um, this is uh, relax me. Uh, very very uh, well and I try to do exercise sometimes okay exercises mm -hmm. that that helps some people that's that's true uh, yes. let's thank you Miguel next volunteer will be Francisco okay in my case for in my free time, uh, I would like to do, for example, uh, fix any, any, how do you say, posa or aparato, I don't know. Any, any device, any, anything, any stuff, anything yes. that can be fixed, okay. Yes, so. yes I, I don't know, but it's, 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 uh, I, I, I like to do it as a Excellent, interesting. I, you are very like the, the, tactile. You like to touch things, okay? Yes, I like to, to use the herramienta. Tools. Tools. Tools, Tools. yes. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. The next person is Janari. Yes, teacher. Uh, when I feel stressful, I just play with my son when I come at home because ah. uh, my job sometimes is very stressful. So just that I do play with okay, my son. Okay, okay. And and weekends I, I I try to say play too with my son. And we out and you go out, we try uh -huh. to. To do something for for um, for be funny. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for sharing, Yanari. Uh, next one is Beatriz. In my case, one thing that I do is uh, stay at home. Another way is take a little nap. And when I wake up, I ask for food to a restaurant 
because I try to 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 relax and to rest. And I think the best the best way is no cooking. Not cooking. Okay, got it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Beatriz. Uh, Maritza, what do you Thank do you. to relax? In my case, um, I relax um, playing solitary. Solitary. Ah, yeah, I think it's solitaire, something like that. Yeah, I, I've seen that game. It's cards, uh, right? It's a cards card. game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On the... Uh, on the computer or, ah. or with cards. Oh, with real cards. Okay. Cards, um, uh, walking. Oh, and watch TV. Okay, nice. That's mm -hmm. a good strategy, right? Playing a game that makes you feel relaxed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that in the in the past, the computers used to have the solitaire and they had also the pinball. So that, that, that was very relaxing for me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Jackie? Okay. Yes, you, Jackie. <laughs> what, do you, what is one thing that you do to relax? And Jackie's like, me? Really? <laughs> yes. You are the only Sorry, Jackie teacher, here. Sorry, teacher, I was uh, doing. <laughs> don't worry, don't thank worry. Thank you. Well, in my case, <laughs> To keep relaxed, I try to um, to go out with my friends, some friends, mm -hmm. and okay. my best friends. We go to to any cafeteria and uh, drink a cold or hot uh, coffee with any dessert, and we talk a lot. We laugh. And it make me relax. Wow, okay. I didn't think about coffee, but yeah, coffee can have the two effects, right? It can relax you or it can activate you, right? Or both, right? Or both. Yes, or yeah. sometimes you, we decide to drink, drink um, any or only one beer or any kind of Refreshment uh, more drink. energy drink. <laughs> okay, excellent. Exactly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, some people do that, right? They have a cup of wine or they drink a cold beer after they get home and they just relax. Yeah, good. Uh, Diana, is, don't do that, okay? You cannot do that, what Jackie said right now. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Hello. Hello. Uh, when I... I used to play some salsa music. I love salsa music. Uh, when I'm listening, I I feel better, and then I go back to do my my things. My I don't know your activities things that I have to. Do. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. Uh, next you. one is. Juan Jose. Juan Jose, are you there? Hello. I think Juan Jose cannot use the microphone right now or he's having some connection problems probably. Okay, do you do you hear me? Now yes, now yes. Okay, okay, okay. yes. The, the problem with my, my microphone. Um, yeah, when I'm tired, uh, sometimes um, I prefer to lay down. Um, or if I have a time, uh, watching a movie for Disney or for Netflix. Uh, is 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 normally or sometimes I play with a uh, some application in the phone. It is normal to relax me a little. Okay, got it. So uh, those are really nice activities too. 
Let me check who's missing here. Uh, Mariela? Or Brenda? Mariela or Brenda? You can go next. I'm here. Okay. I am here. Sorry. So, Mar Mariela, what is something that you do when you feel stressed or tired? What do you do to relax or to feel relaxed? I'm listening to music and watch movies. Watch movies. Okay. Listen to music or watching movies. Yeah, watching movies is something that I also like, but uh, I try to rest my eyes. So that's the reason why I don't normally do it. Uh, Laura? It depends, it depends on the movie. It depends on the movie too, yeah. It depends on the movie. Uh, Laura, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have Tell us, uh, the connection problems, but I, I hear you very nice now. Okay. So uh, what is something that you do when you feel and tired or when, stressed? Usually uh, I try to Bed down, bed down, eh, no sé, descalzo, o me acuesto. Barefooted, descalzo, eh, bare, ay, barefooted. Amaca, ¿cómo se dice? Hammock, hammock. I'm hammock. going to write it down. In, in my hammock. And yes, and I try to sleep uh, um, some or thing. Nice. Uh, so thank you so much. Uh, Floor, you are next. Hi, teacher. Well, Hello. The, the best thing I do to relax are two things. The first is sleep, and the other thing is um, do or see anything that makes me laugh. Anything that makes you laugh. Well, that's laughing therapy. That's really good. Yeah, that's another option. Thank you so much, Flor. We continue with Ruth. Ruth or Jennifer? Hello? Rolando, welcome. Hi. Hello, Jennifer. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Rolando. Sorry. No, no. I was saying hello. You, you, you oh. can go. You can go on, Jenny. Uh, you were talking about what do you do for relaxing uh, or getting relaxed? The stress. Yeah, exactly. To release the stress or to um, let's say feel better or less tired. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I. Take time to me. I like to listen to music that is so romantic. I like romantic music and I take a large uh, tower and I, I take time to get um, relaxed or I sleep a lot and I watch some series on Netflix. I like mm -hmm. some South Korean dramas and I visit my mom and I go to the lake and swim for a little bit. Okay. And sometimes I go out with my friends on Saturdays. On Sunday, I go to my mom's house. Okay, perfect. Um, the next one now, Rolando, you can share with us. Yeah, she's in your team of Korean drama lovers. <laughs> well, normally when I want to stay calm down i drink some tea i like music music listen music romantic mm -hmm. like romantic music 
I like watch TV. Um, normally, watch TV when I want to to stay calm down. Yeah. When I okay. when I would like to have a relaxed time. Excellent. It's, it's, so yes, drinking tea can help you a lot. Maybe chamomile, chamomile tea would be a good option. Manzanilla, right? Chamomile. So um, we're just missing Ruth, but I'm not sure if she can use the microphone or she's working. And that will be all right. So we're done. I think that I didn't forget anyone. So thank you so much for sharing, guys. We're going to move on. And uh, something that is that has to do with this uh, with this topic is a health, right? Health. So uh, if we take care of our health, obviously we're going to feel better and we're going to have a better uh, attitude and performance in our everyday life, right? Uh, So I'm going to show you right now on the screen what you were doing yesterday, okay? In a moment, we're going to have a discussion about that, about health. Uh, but first of all, I need to show you the exercise or the, the homework that you had, right? That was just to read uh, some text and then... Um, write down the correct heading, okay? The correct heading for that uh, specific paragraph or definition. So here it is, okay? This is the exercise that you were doing uh, at home. I, I want to believe that you did it. Uh, maybe you didn't finish, but you have an idea. So you're going to complete it, right? Really fast. Okay, so you're going to share your answer, your progress uh, on this exercise with your classmates in the breakout rooms, okay? So there are five different uh, texts or definitions or paragraph, mini paragraph, and there are five titles, right? Or five headings, encabezados, headings, okay? That is a word right here, heading. So what you're going to do is to write down the correct heading based, based on the, the text of the information that is, uh, is provided. So I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can share the answers that you have, okay? And compare, okay? You have to agree because it's only one possible answer, one correct answer. It's not two answers possible. So, uh, that's what you're going to do right now. You're going to discuss in the breakout rooms. I'm going to give you just three minutes to get to a, a, a conclusion, to get to an agreement. So let me see, we have 18 people that we can say. So I'm going to create six breakout rooms. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Very good, one, two, and three. Yes, we're perfect. Ready? Questions? No questions, everything's okay? Yes or no? Use a reaction, thumbs up if everything is okay and you are ready to go to the break of rooms or use the surprise reaction like uh, I have a question or I'm, I don't understand what we're doing. Let me see what reaction you use. Okay, thumbs up. Okay, I have three, four, perfect. So let's go to the break of rooms. One, two, three, you have three minutes. Remember, accept the invitation, please. Okay, perfect.
We finished the homework, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna share my results. Let me check my homework. Uh -huh. Now the teacher is here, wait a second. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> The first. Can you please uh, do the the biggest? Zoom in. Zoom in. Yes. Zoom in is zoom uh, in. ampliar. Zoom in. Zoom. Zoom. Uh -huh. zoom. Okay. Okay. Zoom. Zoom, in. zoom out is. Yes. Minimizar. Uh -huh. Zoom out. Zoom out. Ask staff member to use its checklist and evaluate their progress. Look at the work and check if there I'm still evidence that it was wrong. Okay, the first one is identify. The yes. number one is identify personal to current skills person. okay. and knowledge. Number one is identifying personal current skill and knowledge. And number one, find the best way to provide the training to the coaching tour and terms inter training to your safe option. I think this is the the evaluate performance of after training. I think this uh, the, number two is uh, I think is uh, evaluate performance after training. Okay. Mm -hmm. Evaluate. After training. After training, correct. Uh, I two. think number three is analyze the job. Analyze uh, the job. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think is that because the description uh, say as a staff member to use a checklist and evaluate the progress. Look evaluate. at the work area. Evaluate. Evaluate. Eva evaluate. Uh -huh. evaluate. 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 The progress. Yes. Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence or from human resources. Discuss and decide the responsibilities of the mission with employees. Write down indicators of knowledge and skills that match the position. Identify the process change changed in the description. Okay. The first one, what do you have, Jacqueline? Uh, analyze, analyze the job. Mm -hmm. And the number one. Oh. Number one, I think. But mm -hmm. I Sure. <laughs> You're not sure, okay. Uh, I think analyze job is number four, I think. Mm -hmm. four. Why? Yeah. <laughs> what, is the, what is the evidence? You, why, why, why do you think that is the number four? Okay, that is a discussion, right? So you analyze uh, because the Because I Uh-huh. Because uh, observe what employee does well. I'm sorry. The, the supervisor see what employees is is well in, in uh -huh. that uh, activities. Right? Okay, so that is okay, the relation, for, for right? Qualifications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think is the second. I, I, I think the second could be one of the answer. It identify personal current skill and knowledge. Identify. Or or maybe and identify training solution will be. For me, uh, the number one is the size, the size skills and knowledge gap. What about you, Mariela? Mm, I think it's identify training solution. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, and, and I think that you have a reason, design skill and knowledge gap. Um, I think it's correct. Okay. For number two, the paragraph says, find the best way to provide training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, short-term and long-term trainings, e-learning e is the, the word teacher, e-learning. E-learning, yeah. Okay. Decide the option, the best fit the needs of your staff and company. For me, this is, is analyze the job. Analyze. What do you think? Analyze the job. Analyze the job. I think that could be one of the questions. Analyze the job. Maybe it could be. Find the, find the best way to provide training. Mm, it could mm -hmm. be. Um, I don't know if continue with the number three. Okay, good. Okay. Ask staff member to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Um, Look at the work area and check if there is still evidence or deficiency in skill or knowledge. Maybe evaluate performance after training. Yes, this is the that I have. Okay, the party's over. The discussion was really good. I was uh, in all the breakout rooms and I liked the, the, the communication, right, that you were, uh, you were having. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Diana, <laughs> uh, you, were the, you were in the first breakout room that I entered. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, uh, breakout room number two, Blanca, Francisco, Freddy's. Do you have all the answers? Yes, you didn't have a fight? Yeah. Yes, yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah. No? Okay, good. <laughs> Break of room number three. We have Floor, Rolando, and Ruth. You got them all? Oh, almost. <laughs> almost. How, how many are you missing? <laughs> you were talking about something else, maybe. No. No, but we are we are confused. We are uh, not, not sure, sure about one of them. Uh -huh. well, about two yeah, of them. yeah, we have some trouble because we can't <laughs> identify identify the correct. Okay, so we're going to identify it together. Don't worry. Break a room number five. Brenda, Jackie, and Jan Janari. Did you make it to finish? Definitely <laughs> no. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay, but you tried. <laughs> okay. Very nice, Brenda. Very nice. <laughs> no, that's honest. Uh -huh. Important. <laughs> okay, then the last one, room number six, uh, Mariela, Harvin, and Juan Jose. Almost, teacher. Almost oh, finished. Yeah. I was in your group at the end, and yeah, you were in the last one. You I missed noticed. four. You missed four. Okay. Two is better than nothing, as they say. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to share the screen and we will try to help uh, Rolando's group and Brenda's group, right? To, so they, they get to the conclusion of what was the correct answer. So for number one, I think everybody has, no, nobody has problems with number one, right? Rolando, what is the question that you no. did? The numbers that you had problems with? Um, with uh, the side skill and knowledge gaps, uh -huh. and, and we have confused with identify with one, training then? solution and with identify training and solution. Ah, uh, okay, okay, got it. So yeah. we're going to get to that. So what yeah. do you have for number one, group number one? Uh, that was the group. 
with uh, Diana, Jennifer, and Maritza. Uh, we have identified personal current skills and knowledge. Okay, so we're going to say that this one. Wait, I'm going to draw a line because if I, this one here, okay. Uh, group number three, do you agree with this? Uh, group number three is composed by Floor, Rolando and Root. Do you have that one? Mm, no. No, you have a different that. one. Yeah. Okay, yep. let's check. Uh, room number four, uh, Beatriz, Laura and Miguel. What do you have for number one? Identify personal current skills and knowledge. So you have the same one. Okay. Yeah. Now, something that you need to learn uh, or to develop in any language, right, is the ability to identify keywords. Ability to identify keywords. Las palabras claves, right? So those are the words that will tell you. And this is not only when you are reading. This is also when you're listening to something. Maybe you don't understand everything that the, that the person said to you in English, but you got the most important uh, words or the most important message. For example, if somebody tells you, hey, uh, I want to know if you have any, any, any hamburgers because I'm really starving and I don't know what to do. I'm, I have been looking everywhere for, for one option and I have no clue where I can get one. And you are like, okay, hamburger. Uh, that's what you understand, okay? You got hamburger. You didn't understand probably 50% uh, of, the, of, the, of the message. But if you got hamburger, so this person is hungry, right? So you say, ah, you want a hamburger? Yes, we have hamburgers here, right? Or imagine if I, if I am going to say something, okay? And you have to tell me what is the main idea or the main purpose of what I'm telling you right now. So um, I'm gonna tell you something that happened to me uh, a couple of days ago. I was driving uh, normally at the regular speed, but eventually somebody just didn't respect the red light and crossed the street right in front of me. And I just had to brake. I had to stop uh, unexpectedly. I almost uh, hit the other car, but it's, it wasn't because of uh, the sanction or the driving skills that the person had. He, he was a reckless driver. And you are like, okay, the teacher said a lot of things, but what did you get as the main message or the main purpose of what I was telling you? What is the main idea? <clears throat> I think that uh, in number one. No, in, uh, the, in the, what I told you right I now. Think I, I think that mm. you almost have an accident. <laughs> mm. Okay, so you got that. I almost had an accident. The reason? Yes. Yeah. Imprudence. Uh, okay, yeah. imprudence, imprudence from another driver. Okay, so you got, I, the, you got the idea. Maybe you didn't get all the words that I said, but it's not yeah. the most important. The most important is that you understand the message, right? So that is a very important skill, right? And believe me, believe me, it happens when you start speaking English with a lot of people. There are some people that is like, uh, for example, from another country and you are like, okay, uh, I don't understand everything the person is saying, but I will try to pay attention to the, to the idea, right? So um, it's like when you listen to music, you don't understand all the lyrics of the song at the first time. Right, so you try to understand what the idea of the song is and then you look for the lyrics. So that's the purpose of this kind of activity, right? That you identify the keywords and you make connections, you make connections. So number one, identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. What are some of the keywords that you can uh, point out? What are some of the keywords that you can connect to that? It's skills and knowledge, no. In this case, obviously you have the, the words in the text. However, however, uh, there are other words. Improvement. 
improvements. That's a key word, right? Uh, this can be related to this or to training. So, yeah, okay. Something else? Areas, areas, right? So uh, they need help with. So that gives you an idea, right? Uh, yeah, gap. Gap. Up, just right? up. Gap. So skills and knowledge, there, there, is there a gap? Is, so yes, no. If there is a gap, training. If there is no gap, no training. So that. Good. Number two. What do you have for number two? Group number five. In the group number five, we had... So the, the right answer is identify training solutions. Mm -hmm. No. List all the opportunities and areas of improvement, okay, where it's necessary, right, uh, to increase the effectiveness, uh, decide there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. So this is For that. ident... Hello? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was uh, going to tell you that it's not the side skills and knowledge gaps in number one. Yes, I think that, mm -hmm. that is, is correct. The side skills because and knowledge gaps. This is the gap. only, only uh, place in which you Wait. join knowledge and gaps. Before we do that, before we get all the correct answers, we need to check the rest ones because uh, the purpose is to discuss. And that's why I gave you. I told you three, three minutes, right? But I gave you like six or seven minutes for discussion because I really need you to analyze, okay? To discuss and to speak English. So obviously uh, that's what you were doing and that's really good. Now, the group number five was composed by you, I think, Brenda, you were in that group. Yeah, Brenda, Jackie, yeah. and Yanari. So what do you have for number two? Find okay, the best way I have to identified training, training solution. Yeah, I guess identify is, training solution. This is very obvious, but okay, let's wait. We need to finish this, the five. Number three. Uh, group number six, we have uh, Juan Jose, Harvin, <coughs> and Mariela. Number three, uh, we are um, with the we think that is, um, is, is as staff members, we analyze the jobs. Mm -hmm. So what is the, analyze the job. Okay, analyze the job. So that you think that that's correct. Analyze the job. Okay. If somebody has a different opinion, you can say it. that's okay. Uh, next one. We have room number two, Blanca, Francisco and Freddy's. What do you have for number four? Observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. For the number four, we select analyze, analyze the job. But hmm. I... Okay, don't worry. We have a discussion right here. And if you have the same answers, that's good to me because we have more things to say. Okay, I'm going to connect this to number four. And then the last one I am going to ask, what is the group that is missing here? I think it's group number four, Miguel, Ana Beatriz, and Laura. What do you have for number five? Discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position with the employee or the employee. So? Uh, I think, sure, uh, is evaluate Performance after training. Evaluate performance after training. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we still have the side skills and knowledge gap because one is repeated. So let's go for the from the easy ones to the difficult ones. Easy ones, easy ones when you say find the best way to provide training. Identify training solutions. Okay. Easy. That's number two. Okay, uh, ask staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. 
Evaluate, that is evaluate performance. Evaluate performance after, well, I'm going to eliminate all the drawings. Okay, I'm going to connect them one by one. So identify training solutions right here. Uh, evaluate performance is the only one that has to do with evaluation, right? A checklist. Okay. Um, let me check. What is the other one that is easy? Observe what the employee does well and what needs improvement. Check for qualifications, training courses, and responsibilities from previous positions, get more individual information from human resources. What is that? That's it. Identify uh, personal current skills and knowledge, I think. Identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. How can you connect that? Qualifications? Because human resources can give you information about the personnel from the company. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and they I agree. Have, they, you agree. So they have all the information about people, right? Uh, about the employees. Yeah. So, uh, responsibilities from previous positions. You know that in the CV, right? So, uh, okay. And then this is the one that you confuse with the number one, right? That you have list yeah. options and area of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skills of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help with. Okay, somebody's really happy somewhere there. <laughs> okay, so uh, in this case, identify personnel's current skills and knowledge. Uh, I think this is tricky, but as um, Let's say in this case, uh, Brenda, I think Brenda was saying, uh, the human resources yeah. usually have the information from the employees, right? So they can give you anything that you need to know about that. And uh, we are missing, analyze the job and decide skills and knowledge gaps. So the number one says decide and says knowledge and skills. So decide skills and knowledge, decide skills and knowledge. So if you read carefully, the answer is there. And what's missing? Discuss and describe the responsibilities of the position. What is that? Analyzing the job, okay? What do you do, Brenda? Uh, uh, well, I am in charge of programming, giving maintenance to the system, uh, updating the computers, uh, setting uh, or installing the new updates and also the new antivirus and softwares. Okay, so I am analyzing Brenda's job. If Floor tells me, okay, my position is in the, I am in charge of giving the packages for travelers. I understand that her job is to provide information to help the travelers with all they need, right? To buy the tickets, to do their reservations, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So everybody has different responsibilities in their jobs. So what you do in that moment is to uh, analyze the job, the position. Okay, so basically that's the answer for each of them. So it was a little difficult, but it is good because you analyze more, you think more, and it's in English. So that's excellent. So thumbs up and claps for you. We're going to, I'm going to clear everything and I'm going to move to the next one. Why? Because we are going to talk. Before we talk, we're going to check the attendance. Okay, quickly, I'm going to check who's here and who's not. And um, hold on. Okay, so uh, the first, I'm going to start with Freddy's. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Give me a moment. I'm going to move something here on the computer. Blanca, are you there? Yes, I'm Thank here. You. Good. Jackie? I'm here, teacher. 
Okay, thank you. I am sharing with you the link for the conversation that we're going to have. Uh, then you can open it up. Uh, Yanari? I'm here, teacher. Ruth? Rolando? I'm here. Miguel Angel? I'm here, teacher. Nice. Maritza? I'm here, teacher. Okay, then we continue with uh, Karen, who's not here today. That's Karen. I'm here. I'm here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you scared me. Okay. 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 I'm driving. I'm coming from a, from a job activity. Okay, be careful, Karen. Be careful. Okay, we're going to wait. She's very enthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, don't worry. I, I, I don't have any hard conditions yet, so it's okay. Uh, Juan Jose? I'm here. Okay, uh, Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Harvin? I am here, teacher. Laura? I'm here, teacher. Francisco? Present, sir. Floor? I'm here. Diana. Wonder Woman. What? Okay, Diana is not there, so we continue with Brenda. Yes, I'm here. Ah, okay, okay. So Diana is there. I'm sorry. Okay. Mariela? And Beatriz? I'm here. Okay. Let's go on. Show must go on. What? Oh, yeah, I thought that it was something strange, but yeah. Okay, so you can check you can check the chat later on. Uh, we're going to go on to the discussion. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and you're going to talk about healthy lifestyle. This is something really important, especially now with a pandemic, right? And a lifestyle that is different. So how can we take care of ourselves? That is the question. Okay, I will send you to the breakout rooms. You're going to be with the same people. So you have a lot of time to talk. Ready? You have five minutes and go. Accept the invitation, please. Okay. Questions? So I'm gonna start ask to asking to okay. uh, do you agree? Do you think you have a healthy lifestyle? Be honest, right? Well, well, I think <laughs> that I don't have a a health healthy healthy lifestyle. Why? Because um, um, I don't have a, a good diet. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. I sometimes I eat. I don't eat a balanced diet. Okay, so you eat a lot of pupusas. <laughs> no, I like I like. Uh, uh, Costillas. Ribs. Uh, ribs. ribs. I, am, I really like ribs. Oh, but yeah. that's not or, so bad. Uh, if you eat a lot of pizza or hamburger or fast food or junk food, that's bad, I think. 
and I drink uh, Coca-Cola, no, Pepsi. I really a lot like of soda. Pepsi. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, I think that this is... Uh, do do no, you drink no, water? No, it's, yeah, I drink water, but Sometimes. I drink more Pepsi. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. That's not yes. good. Yeah, and I drink coffee. And uh, I drink coffee. Two, two cup, two cup a, a day um, uh, in the morning and the afternoon. But uh, a, a big cup. Oh, okay. Yeah. A, jar, a jar of coffee. <laughs> And with sugar <laughs> or not? With sugar, with sugar. A lot of sugar. I like uh, candy bread. Is it correct? Uh, you can say sweet bread. I think it's sweet understandable. Bread. Yeah. I, uh, I like sweet bread. Uh, every afternoon, I eat two mm. pies. <laughs> two pieces. Okay. I think spices. But, uh, but. I think, but I, I am, I make a exercise, I do it exercise. Um, I like the sport, sometimes practice. But okay. for for the, the, the I'm it, it's not good for me, I think. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, um, I will ask you, Flor. Yeah, it's your mm -hmm. turn now. What? Uh, do you try to my lunch i take uh, usually um i i buy um fast food and fast food, fast food or junk yeah. food yes and this is not healthy on the weekend no. uh Pupusas is the menu <laughs> 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 or visit another restaurant and I think the, it's difficult to have a lifestyle healthy to me. Yes. Okay. It's difficult, <laughs> it's difficult try to uh, do exer exercise. Exercise. Uh, maybe, yes, exercise. Yes, I, I can do exercise. Mm -hmm. And another times I try it, but not result. <laughs> 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 Only one or, or two days in the week and Never. <laughs> However, like the chin, chin food or food, yes. What? Oh no! Do you like a uh, chin, chin food? Chinese. Chinese food. Sorry. Mm, oh, how do you only say one dish. Oh, okay. How do you say comida chatarra for for example? Trash food. food? Junk food or yeah, junk food or yeah, junk food. Fast food is considered junk food. Okay. For example, in my case, I prefer to eat pupusas um, and eat uh, cereal with meal. But the pupusas are not healthy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Because my style of Healthy is no healthy. Okay. It's, it's difficult. It is. It like those processed things that uh, you can find at the supermarket just to make sandwiches and things like that. I don't mm. feel okay eating that because I get a lot of pimples. So I stay away from that things. It's just my sin is just to eat um snacks like churritos <laughs> but that is the only thing but yeah. other than that i try to do uh -huh, yeah you like chips <laughs> but other than that mm -hmm, a chips. lot yeah, that's mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> and what I about you in my case i don't i didn't don't pay attention much attention when i uh, about my 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 food uh, jo, I'm just trying to know by, uh, how can I say, callejera? Street food. Street food. Street, street food, food, thank you, yeah. yes. I try to uh, don't buy street food, uh, but 
I don't have, I, I, I don't, I, I don't pay attention. What, what, if the food is good, I eat all. <laughs> yes, but I don't, I, I don't, I don't. I okay. recognize. <laughs> Depends of your point of view, because, yeah. because some people prefer eat something like pizza, hamburgers, or because you have to you have to make breakfast for you for your husband for your babies and i don't know or, or, i don't know i suppose no, i i i wake wake up like 6 30 or 7 a.m because the breakfast that we do normally is like a meal with Avena. Oatmeal. And... Sorry, did you? Oatmeal. Oat. Oat. O-A-T. Oatmeal. Together. Uh -huh. Okay. Oatmeal. Uh -huh. Oatmeal uh -huh. or a sandwich or something like that. Or cereals, something like that. So... We don't have to, to wake up too, too, too early. And I don't have kids. I have my dogs, but it's easy <laughs> to <feed> them. Uh, <laughs> no, in my case, I like to eat uh, 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 a complete breakfast. Yeah. And yeah, it, uh, you take yeah, the, I, the breakfast in your house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If if we do if some if for some some situation we can wake up earlier, we make a, some sandwich, yeah, uh -huh. and, and, and live. But I like to eat a a, a complete breakfast because yeah. I think that is the 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 more the important, important food, yeah, for the day. The most the most important meal. The most the meal most important meal of the day yeah. of the day, yeah, yeah, because. You can, you can eat a a, a, a big quant, uh, a little quantity for lunch, no problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. but all right. So, guys. Uh... How was the conversation? Was it good? Did you like the topic? Do you like the questions? Yes, it was interesting. Or, or you feel guilty now? I feel good, you know. <laughs> you feel guilty, okay. Yeah, what does it mean I, guilty? Guilty, the opposite of innocent. Guilty is that you have like, uh, you feel bad because you did something that is not correct. Oh, guilty, okay. culpable. Uh -huh. it, it, it's, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, okay. So you feel like, mm, yeah. When I was in the conversation, I was thinking about the coffee, the sweet bread, the pupusas. And I was like, no, okay. I, I be honest. I be honest. Just driving my car, <laughs> not walking too much. Yeah. So it's not good. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's the point, right? But but we know that is important, that is necessary to to take care of our health. So that's the reason why I was asking you at the beginning, like, do you feel tired? Do you feel stressed? What do you do to relax? And this topic is connected because sometimes we feel tired because of our physical condition. When we exercise, we feel tired, but we feel good. So we have more energy when we exercise or when we eat healthy food, right? It's not the same reaction when you eat a pizza than when you eat a salad with tuna, for example, or avocado, right? So it's, it's, it's not the same, uh, uh, I don't know, to drink a glass of soda than to drink a glass of water or lemonade right so 
we know that this makes a difference, right? Uh, walking for 20 minutes than uh, sitting down for one hour just watching TV. It's not the same. Watching uh, Netflix. Watching <laughs> Netflix. Okay, Karen, you're home. Nice. Safe and sound. <laughs> That's good. So we're going, we were talking about healthy lifestyle. So you can check the link later to analyze and think about your, your lifestyle, right? <laughs> now, uh, we're okay. going to move on because show must go on, as they say. And um, what's next is practice, okay? Now is your turn, okay? Previously, you we were trying to match, we we're trying to match the different steps <laughs> to prepare a training right, for, for our employees or our coworkers. So now you are going to determine your skills and knowledge at work. You are going to make a decision if you need to go to training and what training solutions you would prefer. So you are going to answer some questions. What is the question number one? Uh, Beatriz? What activities do I need to perform in my job? Okay, in my job, I have to prepare the classes, I have to give the classes, I have to create evaluations, I have to check the evaluations, I have to give personalized uh, follow up to the students, um, I have to coordinate with my coworkers. I need to use a platform for the classes and for the homework. I have to teach three days a week and five days at night. Uh, so that's, I am answering, right? What activities I need to perform in my job, okay? Uh, present the results. So that's what you're going to do. Answer the question. Question number two, volunteers. <clears throat> what specific skill do I need to perform my jobs? And am I skilled to perform my job? Okay, well, I need to perform my English skills, specifically my speaking skills uh, and my listening skills with the students. And also, I need to develop the uh, capacity to teach with different methodology and different resources uh, and different topics. Am I skilled to perform my job? I think I am because I have had a, a lot of experience and I have been teaching for many years. So, yes. Next question, number three. Volunteer. Diana? Decided skills and knowledge gaps. Are there any skills I like and that could help me do my job better? Okay, that's a difficult question. Mm, maybe a skill that I like that I could, that could help me to do my job better is um, to practice more reading. I think I need to read more. Uh, because that is one of the skills that my students need to develop too. So uh, maybe I will have I, I, I need to, to do that, uh, develop more reading skills and, and practice it, practice it more often. Okay, question number four. We have three questions, so three volunteers. Yanari? Number one. I'll try. Oh. And then. Uh, what time of. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. What time of training program will be helpful to develop the skills? I luck. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think that one related to how to teach reading to students and how to prepare them for international certifications in English, because that's something that I don't have. Okay, 
Thank you. Question number two. I saw that somebody raised a hand. I don't know who that person was. Who raised the hand? I didn't see it. Oh, Flor and Francisco. Perfect. Flor, please read the question number two. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedules and my personal life? Mm, that's, a, that's a difficult question too. A, probably a training solution that does not conflict or wouldn't conflict my, my work and personal life would be a one hour training, probably for one month in the time that I am free, that I don't teach in the morning, especially. So that would be a good option for me to receive a training for one month, maybe one hour every day, or uh, maybe an online training that I can take on the any day, uh, on the weekend, at night, during the week. So a um, uh, free online training that doesn't affect and I can control the time. Uh, so maybe that, that would be an answer. And the last one, Francisco. Okay. Uh, online programs on the job training. Uh, mentoring. mentoring. Okay, good. So online programs, yes, definitely. On the job training, I think it's complicated because I don't have a lot of free time and there are a lot of students, so it's not possible to receive a training in my job. And mentoring mm, could work, could work, but I don't know how. So that's what you're going to do right now. I am going to send you to uh, the breakout rooms, e sorry, in pairs. So you are going to share your opinion about these topics or about these questions, right? So individually, you answer these questions and then you share with your classmates. So take a screenshot. You need time for this activity, okay, it's necessary. Uh, let me check how much time we have. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, approximately 10 minutes, okay? No more, 10 minutes, try to answer quickly. Uh, uh, let's say straight to the point, okay? Directo al grano, como decimos, straight to the point. And uh, if you don't understand or you cannot answer one question, no problem, go to the next question, okay? So do you have any questions about the questions? Or everything is clear? No, I don't have. You don't have questions? Okay. No. Excellent. So pay attention to the indication. No, you are going to answer this individually. So you can take uh, five, six, seven minutes to answer this in your notebook, right on the computer. And in the last two minutes, I can give you an extra minute, three minutes. You are going to share with the person in your group, okay? So right now, individually, after I'm going to send you a message to the groups so that you can share what you have. If you don't have all the answers, no problem, okay? Share what you have. Ready, set, 10 minutes, beginning now. Okay, yes, an invitation to join the breakout rooms, please. Excellent.
and I couldn't breathe. I couldn't uh, hold a mute. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's go to the question. I will share the screen if you want. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's start. What activities do you need to perform in your job? Well, it's different every day. Yeah, but you have to answer to yourself. Um, you will decide if you need um, training. Okay. Ah. The I think that that we need to to do your opinion for each question. Yeah, right for now. Example, yes. For right example, now, you need you yes, need sorry. to uh, you need to take the time to answer individually. Okay. Individually. You don't okay. need to share. You don't need to speak. You just answer the questions by yourself, and then mm -hmm. in the last minutes you are going to share. Okay. 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 Okay, perfect. So right now, just concentrate and try to answer the questions. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 There's a lot of concentration in this room. That's good. You yes. say that we will write, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then we will share. And then you will share when you finish. That's correct. Yeah. Excellent. See you later. Yeah. Okay. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Everybody's concentrated, that's good. It's time to write, to think. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Actually, we're, There's we're a lot here. of concentration here. I, I like that. Yeah, that's what we're doing, <laughs> answering the questions. Awesome. It's, a good, it's a good analysis. Uh -huh. uh, uh, for example, in, uh, in the point number four, identify training solution. Uh -huh. I, uh, we have some questions. What are some training solutions that do not conflict with my work schedule and my personal life? Uh -huh. Normally, in my company, uh, when I receive a training, I receive the training in my time job. In your working time, uh-huh. 
or aha in my working time. And I don't have any problem with my job, ni, 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 and with my life, my personal life. So this in that is, case, in that case, uh, one training solution for you is on the job training. On the job training. Uh -huh. It doesn't conflict you because they give you time, they give you permission. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and in the question, uh, in the same point, we have what type of training program will be helped to the level, the level, the skill and lack. Uh, I guess it's technical training because it's about uh, to the machine. Okay, so I have to be specific, right? About how to use the machinery, okay? The new yeah. machines or, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, the only programs from the, yeah, okay. I, okay, this is only the question that I have. Okay, no problem. Thank you for asking. Thank you, teacher. Keep silence, women at the work. Oh, Karen finished the, the, the questions, but I missed two. Okay, okay, don't worry. She's an expert in human resources, that's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> In your case, you have the responsibility to uh, train the personnel, right? Or to give proposals. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I have to create a training program uh, every year. And, and I'm in charge of the execute it. Of executing it, uh-huh. And what kind of areas do you i mean i don't know about, about what kind what what is the field of uh, of the place where you work non-intrusive inspection. inspection it's not a common mm -hmm. we we have scanners in the borders and in the port and basically we took a, a picture uh, from the containers. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. We're looking for illegal things. Illegal things. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. It feels like fact, James, today, James, I... James Bond's work. Hmm? It feels like James Bond's work. <laughs> Like the secret service uh-huh something like that yeah i know many things but i cannot tell anybody okay i imagine that too <laughs> <laughs> so it's interesting it's really interesting we um, have been fine people, drugs, uh, weapons, whatever you can imagine. Hmm. Uh, Gallo de Pelea? Yeah, that's like uh, fighting, they call them fighting cocks, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. And many things. Uh -huh. It's a big responsibility. So you work for like an um, outsourcing from the government, I suppose. We have a contract mm -hmm. for a 10 years term. Okay. Mm -hmm. The government is our client. Yeah. Awesome. I love my job. <laughs> I imagine that. <laughs> It's really nice. But sometimes I have to do 
some things that I don't like it. For example, uh, the last week uh, I had to fire a guy because he was sleeping in, in, in his working job. hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. And people start to cry and ask for a another opportunity mercy <laughs> yeah yeah working in human resources is not something easy if you have a good heart <laughs> okay i i have a good heart but that, yeah that's what that's what i that's what i mean right that it's difficult yes mm -hmm. but you learn at this time it's not difficult for me but at uh -huh. the beginning yes it was uh -huh. Now maybe I have fire, maybe 50 or 60. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. It's normal for me. <laughs> okay. Well, we're about to finish. I'm going to send a message to everybody to share now. Okay, I finished. Okay. Okay. So we we can start to share. Yeah, okay. one by one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can be the first one, Karen. <laughs> what activities do I need to perform in my jobs? I have to do recruitment process, select and execute training programs, um, performance development evaluations. Can you hear me? Hello. Hi. Oh, um. oh, can you hear me? I can, yes. But okay, maybe but Glenda... Laura has some problems with the connection. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's that. That's true. Okay, well, go ahead. Okay, Glenda, are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, let's start with the number one. What activities do I need to perform in my job? First thing I need is I have to create code to make views work in the applications. I have to create, second thing is I have to create code to make the data answer to all the needs that user have. And number three, uh, I have to update the main work branch with my changes. What about you? Mm. What language do you use to program, uh, Brenda? Well, right now, C sharp. C sharp, okay. Glenda? It's complicated when the connection is not good. <laughs> That's I know true. that feeling. Well, you know that okay, feeling. In my case, mm -hmm. in the cash. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Well, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, in my case, it's not it's not difficult because I I I try I I speak just with my coworker, right? And yeah. And I, 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 I send, uh, then I want some information and uh, then my coworker uh, give me very fast the information. Uh, uh, but mm -hmm. for that reason that I don't have problem. But in your case, I think it's very difficult because some, some people got uh, happy or angry or sad. Yeah. I don't know. Different emotions. I think in every try people. to yes, yes. And in if if you if you don't have a, something then they like or they want, 
uh, yeah. I don't know how how is that reaction, <laughs> but it depends. Uh -huh. I I try to understand the 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 the, the person the person, right? Because uh, uh, maybe uh, teacher, how can I say? Uh, I I forgot that that the words. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how uh, to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, eh, eh, then, then, oh my God. O sea, eh, que here? muchas personas, o sea, si yo no, si yo llego, si yo llego donde esas personas a comprar algo y ellas no lo tienen, eh, son, eh, hay quienes que actúan de manera eh, negativa. Mm. Eh, porque ella es de, de, de venta. Ajá, 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 por eso. I change my, my position in work. That's what I tell. Mm -hmm. Do you remember, teacher, what, what was my position before? Before? No. Mm -hmm. I was an assistant Manager or a assistant? secretary. Uh huh. Yeah. And now you're a, a supervisor. Secretary. No, um, I'm a sales woman mm -hmm. oh okay so you are in a sales department yeah I'm yeah that's a big sales change department. yes yeah that's uh, the reason is that i have i had to be in charge of social medias and i have to take a uh, well do sales in 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 social media and I have a experience about mm -hmm. that. And that's the reason that I- You got the chance, I, you got promoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they they see that, that I can sell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have the well, skill. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and th that it's before from another word. <laughs> Became from another work. Yeah, I bet. Okay, <laughs> so you have just one minute. In, 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 in all in enterprise, in all enterprise, not only mm -hmm. when I work. Uh, mm -hmm. Number two, what specific skill do I need to perform my job? Um, I think that I need to systematize um and order more um, my time and give purity to the uh specific um thing or give purity to the indispensable mm -hmm. uh, i think that is very necessary to perform my my jobs and uh, number three are there any skills i like and they could help me to do help me do my job better um, I think that is not uh, only for me. Uh, I think that is very, very people, but um, for example, the responsibility to the people, uh, to punctuality too, uh, the loyalty is very important, like a soft skill, like a soft skill. Um, the honor, the integrity is very important, like a soft skill for everybody. Not is only for me. It's very all for all people. It's very all good. people in in, yes. in the old company. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. it's very necessary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know what else. <laughs> Time to go back. Okay, let me check. So, um, I see a lot of people smiling. I wonder why. 
<laughs> so guys, uh, I know that it was not possible to finish with all the questions and all the answers, but I really hope that this exercise or this activity was useful for you to think about your job, right? About your, your skills and the things that you probably could um, improve or learn more about because sometimes we know about the topics or about the skills, but we don't know too much. So it's necessary to know more. For example, uh, for me, teaching online was something that I had a little experience last year, but because of the pandemic, I had to study more and more and more and more and more and learn new things because I was accustomed to, to the normal uh, teaching, right? In person, in the classroom. Uh, wait a second, I hear a noise. Okay, now it's gone. So, uh, but, but because of the pandemic, I had to change my, my, let's say my style, right? So now I, if I have to give a class online, I have no problem with that. I prefer classes online sometimes because I feel more, uh, <clears throat> let's say, well, I have more opportunities to meet people, uh, to more people, and I have I can work, for example, here, right? Uh, I mean, San Miguel. I'm working with a company from San Salvador, teaching students from different parts. So for me, that's a great experience. And uh, you can do a lot of different activities that is not so easy to do when you are um, in person, just in a classroom and not all the students have a computer not all the students have internet. So it's, it's not the same. Of course, everything has pros and cons, but learning to adapt is part of the process of being a human and being a professional, right? So Juan Jose raised his hand and uh, I want to know if it is a question or a participation. Yes, yeah, a question. Okay. Um, about the a new new way to teaching. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can I say to change my, my weight or my mind about the situation? Yes. Can I say that? Yes, it's, it's necessary because when you teach uh, for the people in front of you, it's different. It's very different when the people are in your, <laughs> there in your, in your house. Yeah. But it's very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> it is. It is. Okay. That's right. Okay, excellent. So, uh, do you want to say something about the activity? Something that it's going on in your mind right now before we go to the last part. And I don't know, Karen? Mm -mm. Nope, okay, perfect. Well, actually I have a question for you, Karen, because you are the one who works in the human resources part. Um, do you think that this kind of analysis is is uh, is common in companies or people don't normally do it? It's common for human resources. But if you don't ask to people to do it, people don't do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, but people don't do it. <laughs> I think somehow it's because of the comfort zone, right? Yes. Maybe. Uh -huh. And some, sometimes uh, somebody come and ask, uh, how can I learn this or that? Uh -huh. But it's one in, in, a one in 25. <laughs> uh -huh. One in a hundred. I got it. So, mm -hmm. yes. I think that don't, the, the people don't do it more than you give. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those are my responsibilities. No problem. No more. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, it happens. It happens. But you are different. You are different. And with this activity, obviously, you had more things to think about. So uh, I'm going uh, to. Uh -huh. Sorry. Always, we we hope that the the people 
will be changed and for to improve the, uh, the the jobs is necessary mm -hmm. to change uh, uh, to begin to start for me and after the other people correct correct okay so uh that is totally true now guys please take notes about what i'm going to tell you right now because you for tomorrow you are going to practice this conversation at the beginning of the class okay but you are going to practice it with someone in particular okay so flor and maritza you are going to work together uh, the first person that I mentioned, it's, I mean, you're going to practice a conversation in the, in any of the two roles. Okay. So you have to be ready for the role that you get. Tienes que saber los dos roles. Okay. So, uh, Flor and Maritza will work together. Francisco and Harbin, Juan Jose and Miguel, Brenda with Laura, Beatriz with Jackie, Diana and Karen, Freddy's and Rolando. Blanca and Jessica and Ruth. So depending on the on the people that are connected at that time, they are going to practice. And Mariela with Jennifer. Okay. So I'm going to uh, please remember right who you're working with. So tomorrow we start with automatic practices, right? To listen to you. So the conversation goes um, like this. We will use this chart to analyze the training needs of our new servers. It says major task of the positions. Ah, servers are in charge of handling food correctly and processing payments correctly. Don't forget servers have to be friendly. I think we need to help them with that. Grooming and personal appearance. They look a bit messy. A bit messy. Okay, let's have a short training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. Okay, so that is the conversation. Okay, and obviously tomorrow we're going to be discussing the questions, but right now, just a conversation. That's for tomorrow. Okay, so if you see, we are doing something different every day. So for tomorrow, the homework is about conversation, it's about speaking. So Practice, investigate the pronunciation. We didn't have the trivia today, teacher. Says who? Yeah. Says who? You just you say that. Says who? Yesterday. We haven't finished. So, ladies versus gentlemen. <laughs> okay, girls. First question is for you. Okay, I don't. I don't going going to tell them. The question hmm. the answers. <laughs> okay, girls. Thank uh, you. Question number one. <laughs> question number one is for you. Which planet has the most gravity? Which planet has the most gravity? No, I have I have the trivia ready. <laughs> that, that is not because boys Blanca or girls. Girls. Which planet has the most gravity? Oh Mars, Venus, or Jupiter? Mars, Venus, or Jupiter? Venus. The first answer was Mars. So I take the first answer. No, the correct answer is Jupiter. Venus. Boys. <laughs> Boys, question oh for God. you. Man, gentlemen. Which mammal, which mammal, mammifero, right? Doesn't have vocal cords. Which mammal doesn't have vocal cords? A, the elephant. B, the dolphin. C, the giraffe. Boys, gentlemen. Diana, I'm watching you. <laughs> okay. So, elephant. Can you, dolphin, can you repeat? Which animal can you has, repeat the question? has no vocal cords? Dolphin, elephant, or giraffe? The giraffe. That's the first answer. I take it, and that's correct. One point for the boys. Good reaction. Yay. Okay, girls. In which year 
did the Titanic movie come out? In which year did the Titanic sure. movie come out? Option A, 1997. Option B, 1996. Option C, 1995. The first 90, answer. Can you repeat it, the, the years, the options? 90, 1990. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, um, I bound. Um, okay, uh, I am going to ask you a question, but this now nah, this is too easy. Um, okay, my name. This one. Uh, now, this is related to the Earth. Okay, what is the diameter of the Earth? What is the diameter of the Earth? A, 7,000 miles. B, 8,000 <laughs> miles. C, 3,000 miles. What is the diameter of the planet Earth? Boys, now you can say it. <laughs> seven, seven. I don't know. Seven. I don't know. <laughs> Seven. No, the correct answer is a thousand. So no points. Girls, now is the opportunity to win. Okay, another point. Okay. Uh, what is the what is the symbol for potassium? What is the symbol for potassium in the periodic table of elements? Letter Jose, A. Okay, please. Okay. Arvin, don't Google. Arvin, don't Google. Okay. P -O. Option, option A. <laughs> No, wait. P. Option. Options. Option Listen A. To the options. Option A, P. Option B, A. Option C, K. C, A, or K. C, 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 C. Option C. Option B. Option C, K. That's correct. K. No key. K. So, correct. <laughs> now we continue. <laughs> In this moment, British you have the advantage, English. but we are missing one question for the boys. If the boys get it, we have an extra one. If the boys don't get it, you win. So, boys, where was Pablo Picasso from? Option A, Spain. Option B, Italy. Option C, Germany. Boys. El Salvador. Option B, El Salvador. Uh -huh. So? Italy. Italy. Arabia. Italy. Arabia. Yeah. No. It's gone. We can, we can oh, participate Paolo with that. Pablo Picasso was from Spain. Oh. He's near. Oh, he's near. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, so, girls, you win. We win. Thanks to her. Girls yeah. power. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, what am I saying? <laughs> now you can say that you helped the girls, girls and Juan Jose <laughs> wins. <to> Juan Jose. <laughs> so you Thank you, Juan Jose. I'm not the only one. <laughs> and Juan Jose so, wins. The, so. the, the, the last time Blanca, last time leader. Blanca held, held your yeah. team, I know. Okay. So you see? Uh, no. we have Please don't remember. Revenge. Revenge. Here. revenge. The yeah, we will have the revenge. <laughs> we will have the revenge. Round two will be tomorrow. So guys, I'm going to take a screenshot, right, with the with the people who are connected right now for the attendance because of time. Um, so, yes, activate your camera. Thank you so much. One, two, Jennifer, I cannot see you. Mariela, I cannot see you. Blanca, I cannot see you. Laura, I cannot see you. And Ruth, no, you know, working. Okay, <laughs> Freddy's. Wow. Turned out for what, Freddy's? Okay, one, two, <laughs> and three. Crazy picture. Is one, two, three. Why did I keep silent? Ah, yeah, I, I remember that. Okay, so, so guys, thank you so much. Uh, it was a pleasure. I hope that you learned something new today. Don't forget to practice the conversation. 
And please wait until Monday to complete the survey. Ok, la encuesta de satisfacción la vamos a completar todos juntos el día mm -hmm. lunes. Ok, si hay alguna otra evaluación del profesor o algo más que les envíen, ahí probablemente sí la hacen ustedes individual en el tiempo que tengan. Pero la de, de satisfacción del curso la hacemos juntos paso a paso el día lunes. Ok, I'm sorry for Spanish, okay. but... But it's weird, it's weird to it? hear you talking in Spanish. I know, I know, but <laughs> si no lo hago, si no lo hablo, se me va a olvidar. Por eso lo hago, para que ustedes no se olviden tampoco hablar español. No. I'm sorry if you don't understand my Spanish, but it was necessary. <laughs> What? What? I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> no problem. Believe it or not, it's like if you have another personality or another person. Uh, For some people, for some people it's the same. There is no difference. But for me, as soon as I'm like, what? Are you teacher Freddy? Yes, <laughs> it's me, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm Emilio. Yeah, your, your voice time. change. I, your I, voice I, change. I don't know why. It's probably a desarrollo. Man. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Maybe. <laughs> Ya la edad. Ok, so, you are a teenager. I'm a teenager, I'm yeah, just 18, so you know. Ok, guys, so it was a pleasure. I really have fun with you and I enjoy working with you. So, hope to see you tomorrow, ok, at the same time, don't forget. And please have a good night. Take care of yourself, drive safely. Good night. Thank Eat you. Your breakfast. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a nice day. Thank you for everything. Bye. 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 Wait a sec, I'm going to, wait, wait, what did I do? Ah, here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me, I was taking a look at the, at the crazy picture. <laughs> look. <laughs> Rolando, it's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And Jennifer, wow. Okay, it's uh, the first time that I see her <laughs> doing a crazy pose. Okay. <laughs> well, yours was not so crazy, but it's happy, at least. <laughs> at least. At least. That's true. Yeah. Well. You're a serious person. Not too much. Not Actually, too much. no. I'm just tired, that's why. Oh, okay, got it. Mm. During the day, you're different. No, actually, uh, when I'm working, I'm working. But then, uh, if uh, if somebody uh, wants to joke or something, I like to joke a lot. And sometimes, ah, okay. being honest, I have had problems with that. Ah, I yeah. don't know, but I, I think you have the potential I, of being a a a bullying. A bullying. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, That's difficult to control, but it's, it comes mm, natural by nature, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, That's true. <clears throat> well, now you have good connection. I can see you. I can hear you. You can see me. You can hear me. <laughs> so we can communicate better. Mm -hmm. And That's um, true. I don't know. Did you watch any of the videos or did you study the manual? Uh, the last of the last two classes or one of the two classes? Well, I was listening to you to the last, two, well, it was just one class in which I couldn't be because the, I was driving. So I, day before, I lost my uh -huh. connection. Yeah. Yeah. But the other day, day before, okay, yesterday, mm -hmm. I was able to listen to the complete class. Mm -hmm. Was that? I was not able to uh, participate in the mm. speaking activities. activities. Uh -huh. Got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, 
Is there any topic or ability in particular in which uh, you have doubts or you need help? That you consider that you need mm. to improve or to work on? Well, mostly it's more speaking, I think, because when you speak the vocabulary you use, for me, I don't have any problem to understand you. It's sometimes that I have problems like to say like, for example, when you are going to speak in third person or something like that. So I forgot to use the uh, letter S or something like that. But this is something that will comes with practice. I know that because in writing, I'm better than talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and other than that, uh, there was like, uh, the words you were practicing yesterday class, I think, if I not bad, if I'm not wrong, um, it was one word there that was new for me there. Let me check. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Mm. Um, oh, it's in the other phone. Sorry. Oh, where it is here? It's the hacker's phone. Okay. Yeah, I, I have one just to search on Google and another one to use like uh, with WhatsApp and that. Really? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because this is like, uh, I'm um, always looking to this because uh, sometimes for work, from work or anything, I have to be careful about it. Yeah, true. Oh no, but I, I don't have the picture here, it's so strange. But the mm -hmm. word was like the action when somebody steals you something. Theft, I think. And that was a somebody new word. Somebody steals. Steals something. something like, uh -huh, like committed a crime or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, think. theft, theft, theft. Uh -huh, that was a new word for me. Also, you mentioned one today when you were talking about the accident that you were going to have some days before, you say reckless. That was new for me. I have listened to this word before. I knew it, but just by listening, but I didn't know that was somebody that doesn't care about what they do. When they are driving. When they are driving, right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Reckless driver. That, that would be um, mm -hmm. conductor temerario. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Reckless driver. But, um, well. As I don't have more so much questions about vocabulary, let's start normally, I think. What do you think? Like, for example, um, have you ever know about uh, somebody that is getting ready to get the test or the exams? Uh, like, uh, you were telling certifications, exams? Like TOEFL? Aha. Uh -huh. Or TOEIC? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I have trained people for that. Ah, uh, really? And you have take, do you have take that or not? I have taken the uh, three of them. Uh, I took the TOEFL, the normal one that is listening and reading, the IBT uh -huh. that is the four skills, and I have taken uh -huh. the two TOEICs too. So the speaking and writing and listening and reading. So that would be the four different certifications. Mm -hmm. And that when, okay, my point is that um, this work in any way for somebody, like it can help you in something or is just to measure yourself? Uh, actually, they have different purposes. Uh, one of the main purposes and the reason why people usually take them is for a requirement. Uh, for instance, mm. to go to the U.S. Mm -hmm. and study there uh, mm -hmm. with a scholarship uh -huh. or anything, they usually require mm -hmm. TOEFL. Oh, okay. Uh, for working purposes in many countries, they can ask you whether for TOEFL or TOEIC, because TOEIC mm -hmm. is, is, is more uh -huh. technical. TOEIC is more technical. It's about... Mm -hmm business English um, or mm -hmm. English for a specific purpose as they call it. Uh, so it can be, uh -huh. I don't know, computers, traveling, banking, um, mm -hmm. etc. And uh, mm -hmm. in, 
for people who work at call centers or want to work at call centers, for example, if they have a certification, one of those certifications, they have more possibilities of getting hired because they prove their level of English through that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, and I think, yeah, some people take them just to evaluate them, their level of English, but to be honest with you, I, I don't think it's a completely uh, objective uh, sort of test. Like the majority of the tests, you know, they are uh -huh. standardized tests, so they're not really accurate mm -hmm. in terms of evaluating everything, mm -hmm. you know, because TOEFL, for instance, is academic. So you will read uh -huh. about art, about geography. You will hear conversations about literature. So talks about uh -huh. literature in an everyday context people don't talk about it mm. so it's not like no that's true you're going to know your level of english not really and there are mm -hmm. people who are native speakers and they don't pass the certification uh, yeah because they don't have the the words there in their vocabulary because maybe. they don't like, have the vocabulary for us. or they don't have the strategies for taking the test because mm -hmm. it's also about strategy, it's not only the level of English. So you need mm -hmm. training usually for that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that's that's what I can tell you about certifications. And here, teacher, in the academy, how many uh, modules are in intermediate level? Uh, well, for, this is according to, to INSAFORP, right? So, uh, uh -huh. So they have four, if I'm not mistaken. There are four levels uh, okay. uh -huh. the intermediate, but every level has mm -hmm. 50 hours. So okay. it's like five weeks, five no. weeks. So 50 it's 50 hours it's per each. Per, per module. And are four, 200. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, in the basic one, you have only 40 hours per module, so it's 10 hours less. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the intermediate and one is advanced? a little bit longer. For advanced, I'm mm -hmm. not so sure, but I think it's still uh, the four modules, but I'm not sure if it is 40 or 50 hours. Um, mm -hmm. And have you, uh, you always have been, um, intermediate or you have been also teaching advanced well for this program i haven't had the chance to work with advanced yet uh, mm -hmm. at the university level yes i have worked with advanced but not with this program i have just mm -hmm. a year and a half working but mm -hmm. uh, as the groups are i mean sometimes i stay with the same group so I, I mm -hmm. do not have the chance to interact with other groups in other levels. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have been basic, mainly with intermediate and uh, basic level. However, I prefer uh -huh. intermediate a little bit more because I can speak more with them. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another question that I was having is like, when you started to, um, to learn English, you were studying, you were starting like from zero or you before you were having some knowledge about your studies? Mm, you think of, you asked me about the university when I entered university. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, not just the, the classes that I received from seventh grade to the, the last year of high school. Mm -hmm. Just that. But uh -huh. I, ha I had good teachers, some good teachers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I liked it, so yeah. it was a combination of. You mixed it and the best things you can have. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. that's why. That's very good. Mm -hmm. Because when you speak, uh, sometimes uh, I have here people that they speak and they are teachers, but uh, they just like are thinking sometimes what they will tell, but you speak like naturally, like it comes naturally what when you speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you you pay you yeah. pay attention to details. You're <laughs> yeah, 
because yes, because sometimes I also have fine mistakes when somebody speak also, because there are some words that for me are like common for me, but I hear mm, like that, like I can I can listen to the mistake, but to you, I don't find too much. I haven't find 